Yesterday, I was browsing YouTube and I saw this logo animation. It made me think that I could replicate it using the free version of Canva. And this is what I created. And the best part is that you can apply the same steps to create your own logo animation, like this one. The steps are quite easy to follow. Let me show you. Let me show you again the animation we are going to replicate today. This is going to go really fast. It's about like one or two seconds. So pay attention. This logo animation looks very professional, yet it's quite simple to create. Let me play it again, but this time very slowly so we can deconstruct all of the movements here. Let me go here to settings, playback speed, and this time I'm going to set the speed to the lowest setting and play again. What we see here is that these two elements are moving at the same time. The logo is moving to the left and the text is moving to the right. And then at some point we see that the logo and the text turn white and the background turns red. And now that we have the structure of this animation a little bit more clear, let's go to Canva and let's try to replicate it. Now, make sure that you go to canva.com and log in into your account. You can use a Canva free account or a Canva pro account to follow these steps. Once in the home page, you are going to click on this icon that says video. And then from here, we are going to select this option that says video 1920 by 1080. This one is the landscape mode format. So you can select this one if you want, or you can select another one if you want to create another ratio. And for this particular particular project because we are going to create this animation in a landscape mode I'm going to select this option that says video 1920 by 1080 Once in the editor, we are going to replicate the logo. You can replicate your own logo. In this case, I'm going to replicate YouTube Originals logo. So to do this, I'm going to use apps. And from here, I'm going to search for brand fetch. Clicking on this app. And then because I already searched for YouTube, I have it here. But if you want to follow all of the steps, type YouTube here and then select this option. This is going to give you access to YouTube's logos. So I'm going to select this one here. And now I'm going to add a text box. You can do it by pressing the key T on your keyboard. And I'm going to type YouTube originals. The next step is to customize this text box so it looks more like YouTube Originals logo and I'm gonna use in this case a font called Anton. This one is not exactly the same but it works for the sake of this tutorial. The next step is to adjust the size of your elements so they look like your logo or in this case YouTube Originals logo. I'm coming back to YouTube Originals logo to see or to pay attention to the alignment of the elements. So I can see that this icon is aligned to the height of these letters. So I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to adjust the size of this icon to the size of the text. You can do it by using guides. And if you don't know how to activate guides, you can go to file settings and then show rulers and guides. You can and then click on this ruler and drag your mouse downwards or you can do the same with this ruler on the left hand side. Once you have your guides you can keep working on your icon and then you can remove the guides. I'm going to position these two elements in the middle of the page. Now the second step is to create a duplicate. Let me go back to the original animation because if you remember well the first part of the animation we see a white background and then at some point it changes to red so we need to create a duplicate of this page and then change the background color to red i'm going to change the colors on this icon and the text to white so we already have the first scene with white background and the second scene with red background 
Now, the next step is to add movement to the first frame or the first scene of this animation. And the first step is to create some guides. These are going to be essential to create this motion effect in the text and the icon. To create this guide, we are going to click on this ruler and then drag to the right and position this guide where this S ends or basically where the text ends. And then another guide touches the left edge of the icon. Now let me go back to the animation to show you the first thing that we see and how we are going to start this animation. I'm at the beginning of this animation and the first thing that we see or the only thing that we see is the icon. This one is positioned right in the middle of the screen and then we see the movement happening. So let's go back to Canva and from here we need to position this this icon to the middle of the screen. So I'm selecting the icon and then position center. Now we need to bring this text to the left, right behind the icon. So how do we bring this text behind the icon? I'm going to select the text box position and then under arrange you can click to back or you can go to layers and simply drag this text box behind or below this icon. Now the text is behind the icon, yes, but we can still see the text behind. We need to add another shape to hide this text. So I'm going to add a square shape and I'm going to do it by tapping on the key R on my keyboard and now I'm going to adjust the size of this shape so it covers the text that we see behind. Now I'm going to layers and position this shape right below the icon. Now the next step is to change the color of this shape to the same color of the background of your design. So I'm going to color and because this background is white I'm going to change the shape color to white. Like this we don't see the text anymore but the text is still here. Now let's start the fun part. We are going to add some custom animations to these elements but first we need to select this white shape and this icon and group them both. You can click on the shape hold shift and then click on this group button. Once you have these two elements grouped, you are going to click on one of these anchors, go to animate, click create an animation and then you are going to hold shift and drag this icon to the left until the left edge touches this guide. You can then go to movement styles and select smooth. You're going to click done. Now let's animate the text box. Let's go to position, go to layers and select the text box. Then we are going to animate, create an animation and this time we are going to again hold shift but move this element to the right until the edge of the text touches this guide. We are then going to move movement styles, we are going to select the smooth movement style and hit done. Now let me preview the first page of this animation and I think this is looking great. What we need to do now is to adjust the length of each frame because if you remember this animation was really quick, it lasts about two seconds. So I'm going to leave the first frame to one second and let's preview the animation one more time. Okay. Okay, so we have now something going on here. You can see that the animation is happening really great. And the second page, we can leave it to one second, but because I'm going to add some sound effects, I'm going to leave page two to two seconds because I think this is going to look even better. So let me preview the animation and then let's add some sound effects. It is quite amazing what you can do with Canva for free and at the end you'll be able to download this animation without any watermarks. So this is really great and now let's add the sound effects. We're going to go to elements and then let's find audio. Click see all. From here you'll see that there is a variety of premium music tracks and also free ones. I'm going to use two free sound effects. The first one is this one. You can also preview these audio tracks by playing on this little play icon. 
and I think this one is going to go really well with this animation. So let me move this guide at the beginning of the animation and then I'm going to click on this sound effect. And now I'm going to add another sound effect. I'm going to create a layer of sound effects in here so we can have something for the first part of the animation and then an extra sound effect when we see the second frame. Let me move this guy to the beginning and this is the second sound effect I'm going to use. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to drag this audio a little bit to the left, trying to match this wave to the the beginning of page number two. Now let me preview this animation again to see how it looks with these sound effects. This is looking so, so professional. There is only one thing that I would like to adjust and it is the volume of these two sound effects because the first one is a little bit too high. So let me adjust this volume and let's go to the second one to increase its volume. So let me go to 200 and let's play it again. What do we think about this animation? Please do let me know in the comments. And I want to show you really quick what I created for us. I followed exactly the same steps to create this little custom made animation with our logo. And let me show you how it looks. I think this is looking really great and as you can see we have exactly the same elements. We have the white shape, the text box behind, we have this little logo here and then we have the change of the color in the background. We are using our branded colors so that's why it looks very very on brand. Now let me come back to our initial project because I want to show you how to download this animation. We're gonna go to the button that says share on top of the screen, then hit download and from here I do suggest that you use mp4 video the suggested file type. This is going to be there by default so you don't have to move anything. If you have a Canva free account you don't need to move anything here but if you have a Canva Pro account you can simply move this slider to the right and as you can see you can download this video in 4k. If you have a Canva free account and would love to to try Canva Pro to use this feature and many other premium features, you can use our free trial of Canva Pro that is in the description. I'm going to leave this option as if I had a free Canva account and then I'm going to leave these pages selected, so all pages selected as you can see, and finally hit download. And here's the final video. Pay attention because this animation doesn't have a watermark and also pay attention to the sound effects. And lastly, please do let me know in the comments what do you think about it. If it happens that you are looking for a job and you still need to create a professional looking resume, we got you covered. We have a new shop at Creative Market and we are selling a resume kit with five different resume templates and one cover letter template. I'm gonna leave you the link to that product in here and I'm also going to leave you another tutorial in here in case that you want to keep learning with us. I think that's it for this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!